Okay, all you've got to do is tell us if these things are old, older or younger than YouTube. Okay. First up, older or younger than YouTube, Romeo Beckham. Oh, is he the oldest one? No, you've got oldest one, Brooklyn Beckham. Yeah. Is Romeo the one that's been been uh, kind of modelling everywhere? Yeah. I'm going to say he's older. You're saying older yeah. than YouTube? Yeah. Absolutely hey. correct. Hey. You really know your Beckham offspring. <laughs> <laughs> say what you like about Jim Chapman, but he really knows the ages of the Beckham kids. <laughs> uh, 12 years old. Oh, wow. He was two when YouTube started. I just think 10 is too young to be the face of... You know, yeah. big campaigns. Yeah. 12 is fine. 12 is fine. Yeah. <laughs> Why not start working at 12? Yeah. Like it's the Victorian era. <laughs> uh, next up, Rihanna's career. Older or younger than YouTube? Is got to be older because I remember going, Mr. DJ Sampa on the replay. Yeah. So it's got to be older, right? You're saying older. Oh, She's younger. The career of Rihanna is younger. She uh, was came out in 2005, did Ponder Replay. Wow. But in the August of that year. Wow. So se- Shocked. Same year. Nine and a half years. Okay. Old career. Next up, the wardrobe malfunction of Janet Jackson and Justin Timberlake. Ooh. Older or younger? Is this the Super Bowl thing? Do you remember the Super Bowl? Yeah. Basically, what happened was... There was a bit of a slip, wasn't there? there was, well, yeah, there was a wardrobe malfunction. Okay. And that phrase was born then. I'd never heard that phrase before, <laughs> ever. And now it happens all the time. But basically, Justin Timberlake, Janet Jackson, on stage at the Super Bowl, he grabbed her upstairs area <laughs> and when he moved his hand her, her bra came off yes and she was wearing kind of elaborate elaborate kind of under bra wear wasn't it's she it's not something that you wear on your nipple day to day yeah so I don't think it was an accident no. but anyway I'm going to say that is younger because I remember searching for it <laughs> <laughs> thank you Jim uh, uh, no actually older no. that happened the year before YouTube started and according to one story was the inspiration for the site Wow. Yeah, because uh, the founders thought there should be somewhere to look for amazing videos. Well, there you go. I am testament to that. There you go. Yeah, there you go. You can go. Uh, next up, older or younger than 10 years, the time since Gwyneth Paltrow ate a carbohydrate. <laughs> oh, definitely older. Older? Yeah. I can tell you that one is absolutely correct. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Gwyneth Paltrow, Jennifer Aniston and Catherine Zeta-Jones made the carb-free diet popular for the first time in 2003. Wow. Yeah. She's not at like a cheese toasty since. Ever. I mean, Ever. what is life without a cheese toast in a weekend? Sometimes I pretend I'm carb-free. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, sometimes I pretend. I think I'm quite low carb, but, yeah. you know, but then I cheat. Yeah, and I like eat all it, the carbs. it happens for about three hours. Carbs are the best food. So that's just the gap between <laughs> breakfast and lunch. I'm like, I'm carb-free to lunch. <laughs> uh, older or younger than 10 years, the friendship of Cheryl fernandez Vecini and Nick Grimshaw. Oh, I, I have no... Well, I mean, I'm going to say this is much younger because you've been doing the show together, right? And I yep. don't know if you knew each other before that. Yep. Well... Actually, older. Oh, yeah. Uh, she tweeted a really unflattering picture of me. Okay. Recently, from I mean, when we met in 2002. It's quite an unfair question to ask me because it's not like popular knowledge, is it? No, it's not true. And also, <laughs> friendship's a strong word. We met once in 2002, right? And then became friends like this year. Okay. So the, the, that the, the, it's a grey area. Yeah, it's a grey. It's a weird it's grey fine. area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, Jim, you got two out of five. Yay! <laughs> That's less than half. Less than half, but you know, good game. 